traders and motorists at Aveno Railway Crossing wants government to rectify a deteriorating section of their road. They say a trip of sand bought to fix the road was left unattended to for two weeks due to what they describe as power play between the NDC parliamentary candidate and the MP for the area who happens to be an MPP person. There's more on this report by Prince Kuruga. This is the daily ordeal of motorists and residents of Aveno Railway Crossing here in the Okaikwe South constituency. Due to the bad state of the road, motorists have to carefully maneuver their way out. The situation is further worsened by the rains. Motorists and residents who spoke to join you say, although they managed to find their way out, it is not without damage to their vehicles, as they have to visit the mechanic shop and change car parts every week. Uh, the situation is not good, it's really bad. Look at, look at, look at. Hmm? They've been coming here always, but they don't fix it. You know, we've been complaining, but look at, look at the situation here. It's very bad. It's very bad. So we are only pleading to the government to do something about it. This is really bad. We understand that two weeks ago this um, heap of sand was brought here and up to now nothing has been done about the situation. Mm. Because we are in a, look, we are in a rainy season. All this sand will be washed by the rain. You understand? It's not nice. You see, they have to do something about it. You know, you have to do the work. They have to do the work. It's really affecting because like you drive here at the at the end of the month, like you go to the workshop and you spend money. You understand? Look at look 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 at the situation. It's it's very bad. Oh SSA some cars are so cry, cars. Time be a pushy cars wa. Time be a so we so dahan. It's me dahan on verse two weeks now. Over one and so I sam to go so time be a dear and so ho. Here is under Okanque South. Okanque South. Every day, whenever rain falls, you know, the whole place gets flooded. And even cars find it very difficult to cross. And even sometimes they are bumper, remove their uh, shocks and they are, they are, they are, they are exhaust, you know, just spoiled, get spoiled. So always you see them suffering, you see drivers. And it causes a lot of traffic. It causes a lot of traffic. And here is leading to industrial area. We have more companies, more factories, more warehouses over here. So we are pleading to the municipal, the assembly, and the government, Okainkwe South, they should come to our aid and, you know, come and fix this mess, because it's, it's, it's a tragedy. It, we are having problem, a lot of problem. The impact of this bad road extends beyond just the motorists. It deeply affects the livelihoods of the traders who depend on the flow of commerce in the area. Serious. Last two weeks, it's even enter our shops. Yeah. It's very, very difficult for us, yes. The Friday, the, the, uh, the rain, when it is rain, the, it fries every, every area, every corner, yeah. Uh, we, we, fix, we fix wind scheme and we sell, we sell it as well. And when it rains, uh, the water will be sticking around and it, has, it, has, it is affecting our business. So what are the authorities telling you? Uh, they, are telling that, they are telling us that they will come and do it, but for about two weeks now. It hasn't, it hasn't been down. So what are you telling them? So we are telling them, we are pleading them that the government should, should come to it so that everything will move on well as well. You know, whenever it rains, the whole place gets flooded. So we don't find a space to park cars. All the place gets flooded. Uh -huh. So sometimes we don't do any work when it rains. Uh -huh. Two weeks ago, a glimmer of hope emerged when a truck load of sand arrived, promising a semblance of a solution. However, this optimism was short-lived as the sand lay untouched due to what appears to be a political power struggle between the NDC parliamentary candidate and the incumbent MP for the area. Last time, I was told the MP for this in the Okankwe South, that's Dakwa Newman, but she didn't come and do anything. So Makion, that's the NDC parliamentary candidate, who want to stand for the parliamentary, came here to put this gravels over here, this sand. But they stopped him. They said he haven't come for permission. He haven't come and see the assembly. That's the NDC Makion. That's the uh, so they stopped him and they say it is at court. It's, 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 the matter is at court. So we should, you know, we should wait for the court to settle. 
So we are pleading to the government that at least we are suffering. We here working here, we find it pro, uh, difficult. People, pedestrians find it difficult to cross. Motorists, you know, vehicle, heavy trucks also find it difficult to cross. I think Wednesday, we need two weeks. Anna, NDC aspirants, Eddie and Yahweh Begua, say, we are red ones. You are a different type. Eddie, other ones are Begua, say, our money is not feeling our bed. Because of, I say almost, I think MPP. And I don't know if I'm going to be here. I don't know if I'm So these things have been for here more than two weeks. You who say, you who be a mechanic, you who are a good. Even traffic, of course, you are a business. And I say, and in Ghana, they are costing you, you are a youth, you are a new home. You are a new cry, you are a new home. MPP and DC, this is for Ghana, the Uncle Fred Omo Haye. Because Obia Ba, Oye de Opese Onye, Obia Ba, by the main thing, I bet Bob, my no number, her sire, my you to Nancy, you know, you who, and to your self, self, and inform them, no more head, dear Cosua, no mere ma, now more area, and a dead in some Cosuma, and no my wah. Until the contentious issues surrounding this crucial stretch of roads are resolved, the faith of both motorists and traders at Averno Railroad Crossing remains in limbo. Their daily routines are marred by uncertainty and frustration, underscoring the urgent need for authorities to take decisive action to rectify this pressing issue. For Joy News, Prince Kwame Kudugesh reports read to you.